a whirlwind back and forth this past week surrounding Republicans' efforts to oust Wisconsin's top elections chief. Megan Wolf is standing by to respond, but first, how we got here. Last week, right here on Upfront, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss said Republicans were moving to replace Wolf potentially by the end of the year through the legislature's Joint Committee on Legislative Organization. This after the Senate voted to fire Wolf by not reappointing her to another term. Attorney General Josh Call is suing over that vote, saying it was illegal. Well, just after that interview in a court filing, Republican leaders said that Senate vote was actually just symbolic, adding that legislative committee, JCLO, in fact, has no authority to replace Wolf. Voss in response Tuesday. They've actually asked to be taken off the lawsuit. Uh, because really I have no say in how the Senate operates. So you don't agree with those points that they made in the lawsuit? Uh, I am not a lawyer, but as a, just a very clear reading of what the statute says, it seems to me that there's a different ultimate result, but I guess only the court will tell us. The day after, Voss and Senate President Chris Capica officially asking to be removed from that lawsuit, in it saying they all agree that JCLO presently lacks the authority to make an appointment to the Office of Administrator of the Wisconsin Elections Commission because Administrator Megan Wolf is presently lawfully holding over. And Megan Wolf joins us now from Madison. Megan, welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for having me. A lot of back and forth over your role continuing. First, I want to get your reaction to what we saw this past week. I think that the biggest takeaway from the legal filings that top Republican lawmakers submitted in court this week is that they have agreed in official terms that I'm lawfully holding over in my position and that the Senate's attempts to remove me in September uh, were purely symbolic and had no legal effect. And I think that that's a, a, a really big deal. The litigation isn't over yet, uh, but I think that that is a really, really big deal that does provide uh, some very important clarity. Beyond the court filings, Megan, the Senate also rejected the governor's appointee to the Wisconsin Elections Commission, Democrat Joe Zarnecki. Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu said it was because he abstained in voting to reappoint you in that commission vote, calling it even a violation of the law. Was that a mistake on Democrats' part? So Commissioner Zarneski really added a tremendous amount of value to our commission. He brought experience as a legislator, as a local uh, clerk in Milwaukee County. And so I think it really is a loss to lose that much experience from the commission. But I'm also really pleased to see that we immediately had a new commissioner appointed to the commission. And so as the commission continues their important work ahead, uh, they will continue to have six commissioners and that bipartisan split as is required by law. Republicans want the court to force commissioners to appoint an administrator. How comfortable are you in your role, uh, in this role now, uh, as, as holding over? So I'm very glad to hear that legislative leadership agrees that our, what, with what our State Department of Justice has been saying all along, that I am lawfully in my position. But it's really unfortunate that we had to sue in order for us to get these public admissions of what we knew to be true all along. Um, I think it's disappointing, it's unfair to me, and it's unfair to the people of our state that the Senate tried to remove me while at the same time seeming to know full well that what they were doing was not lawful. Um, so I'm just looking forward to getting back to the very important work that the commission has ahead of us. And I'm hopeful that we will have uh, fewer distractions or stunts like these as we move forward. You mentioned the litigation is still ongoing. Would you feel more comfortable, Megan, though, if the commission voted with four, five, or six votes to actually reappoint you? I think that's a, a good question. I think what we need right now is that clarity, that de declaratory judgment from a court that tells us exactly where the law stands. Um, I think in a lot of ways, it's unfortunate that we are the first agency that is facing this question post the state Supreme Court decision in Prane where it really changed the way that appointments like mine are viewed. I'm curious, with all of this court action, the back and forth, you're front and center in, in all of this. We're a year out from the 2024 election. How does this do anything to restore confidence in, in the election process here in the state? Yeah, I think that all of this has really been a distraction from the serious work that the commission is doing to prepare for next year's elections. And it has also had the result of causing unnecessary confusion for Wisconsinites. You know, these seamlessly 
endless attempts to sow distrust in elections administration. It costs money in attorney's fees, and it's certainly not been uh, easy for me or easy for election officials uh, to have to face these never ending uh, challenges, even though those making those challenges know that they're unlawful. Is there any scenario where you would remove yourself from this distraction and just step aside? I think that would set a really dangerous precedent. If I were to say that if you bully and harass me enough, if you push enough, that I will just step aside and allow partisan influences uh, to, to be a part of elections administration, I think that that would be setting a really, really dangerous uh, precedent. Megan Wolf, Administrator of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Megan, like always, thank you for your time. Thank you. Up next, the Brewers now in the hands of the state Senate. Lawmakers praising the partnership with Milwaukee and Milwaukee County to get a funding deal done. Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley is standing by to respond next.